Oh, SmackDown, Thomas versus Thomas. Trackmaster Tim Thomas isn't looking too happy or pretty about that. Gotta run away, Thomas, on her hands. It's not responding to the controller. Come on, guys. Get with it. He's a runaway. He's a runaway. Okay, time for some Thomas and Friends Dark Side. I hope I'm up to episode 12. This is a very large uh, and very, very interesting looking train set. It also had a very high price at $59.99. It's got some hallmarks of the classic Thomas era going on here, but I'm very curious about the quality of the toys within this box. As always with the Dark Side, the box artwork looks amazing. They've gone to extreme detail to really impress and really get children excited. I'll tell you what, the price didn't make me excited, but hey, Let's get into this toy and let's see what's going on. Oh yes, a very strange set. A bit of a story, I tried to get the price down, it was non-negotiable. Often when they've got a tag like that, the price is stuck. Let's take a read here. Well these three pictures explain basically the crossing area, but there's a strange word that I can't work out. The baluster will fall down to stop the car when the train passing the crossing. Aren't they called boom gates? And reads like this a classic dark side. The series of Cartoon Train is the best gift for children. The kids sure love them. There's a bit of a picture overlay of this layout. Well, I'm very curious to see whether those dimensions there uh, live up to what's said. And as I often see with the dark side stuff, the using instructions are on the back of the box and it makes for some fairly interesting pictures. And down the bottom is a synopsis of the parts of this playset. The bonus is we've got a zebra, a cow and a sheep. And underneath the box is, apart from the price I've scribbled there, the things that I see on so many knockoff toys. To me, when I see the symbols, uh, it's sort of shouting to me, hey, this is a knockoff. Oh yeah, it's a knockoff toy which has got a very, very impressive bit of printing on the front here that just zaps children. Thomas and Friends Lego looks very good in this one as well. It's quite a large box if I put up that track set there of the real Thomas Trackmaster 2 set. You can see how much bigger the knockoff toy is. I've got another one with the next scale up of the Trackmaster 2 sets. I'll try and keep calm at the moment. <laughs> there it is, the next scale up box. And as you can see, that set there is still larger. Oh, let me just get rid of that set there. Oops, I just dropped it. Sorry, boys and girls. Um, okay, let's get into this and see what comes out. Coming in for the unboxing. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how much box bloat is going on here, considering how large the box is. Here it comes, here it comes, it's looking mighty exciting. Oh, some large pieces of this, I can tell you. And the box is fairly well packed out. Oh, yeah. Okay, this looks like a rip of the Tommy Road system. I've got the real McCoy, so I can take a comparison of that. It looks like Henrietta to be. First time I've seen that in one of these sets. This is the big, big piece. I guess so that's the crossing. Okay. All sorts of little rollers there and things. Oh, all sorts of nasty foam there. Okay. Oh, a bit of a staunch in there. Some blue track. We'll check out how good that is or how good a knockoff it is. Uh, oh, there's our farm animals that we can have the trains run into. What is... That's not... Well, that's different, isn't it? Okay. So this Thomas is going to have a tender. Oh, that's very strange. That's a, a box artwork showed that. Okay, uh, and we're getting that. Welcome to the dark side, I dare say. Uh, yes, I think that's a Tommy Rip as well. Okay, and uh, the staircase, blah, blah. Think, and there's a whole bunch of uh, steckles under here. Sticker deckles, my son calls them steckles. So I'll come in and snip the car and Thomas out. Okay, there's movement at the station. The car is free. Yeah, what style of car is that? I'm not right into those sorts of cars. Well, it's going to tell me and see if Thomas is going to come out and play. Oh, uh, yes. I've actually got the real Thomas that looks just like this. I will drag it out to make a comparison. And there is the face. Oh, my goodness me. What is going on there? Oh yes, the duck side uh, does throw at you some very strange items. That's certainly a strange Thomas. But this is also reminded to me just how large the old Tommy system was. If I put that on the table here, I'm never going to build this train set up on this table. I'll have to use my other table. I haven't seen that for a while. 
and I will get in and have to build this up, but I'd like to make a couple of comparisons uh, with some real Thomas gear that I've got. Okay, the classic Tomy blue track there is the real track on top there. It's a slightly darker shade versus the knockoff one here. Uh, as I see so often, the knockoff one tends to have a rougher finish to it. It's got bits and bobs here which you don't find on the real Tomy track. Okay, and as always, when you see this, it will connect together really nicely. It's basically a direct clone. And when looking more critically at the track, this is the real Tomy one. You can tell by that symbol there. Uh, look at the spacing in the bit there, which is the traction area. Then we move to the knockoff. It's actually a little bit different. It's coarser in that area there, and it actually marks up uh, in a much easier way. And there's one thing I'm pretty sure that this knockoff track is made of a softer plastic and not as quality as the real Tomy plastic, which I can't get the score or mark like this knockoff one. Look at that big difference between me trying to score and mark each one of those types of track. And as for strength, all of this, if I try to bend it like a banana, that's the real Tommy track, and I'm going to try and exact the same force on each one. Okay, just trying to remember that. And here comes the knockoff. And the knockoff is quite a bit softer. I can get a bend in that quite easily. Maybe another great example of how weak uh, this knockoff track is, I'll just bend this area here. Look how easy it is to bend this. And I start to get plastic fatigue going on. Okay, now here comes the Tomy. And I'm pretty sure I won't be able to do the same here. It is a far, far more robust build. There's a big difference between this real track here and the knockoff. It's a bit of an eye-opener when you see it like that. Because really, when you see that, two pieces of track there, without taking very close scrutiny or starting to fiddle with them, you'd think, well, that's basically identical. No, no, no. Let me put those in your respective correct piles. And the next thing we'll take a look at are these road pieces. Okay, the Tommy road pieces. It looks like they've tried to replicate this, although there are some differences. I can tell the real one because it's got Tommy there. And apart from Tommy and a year date, there's also some manufacturing stamps like that. And if I drift across to the knockoff piece of road, we're not going to find any of that information underneath there. It's a different shade of grey, but also the coupling area is different. If I try to connect the fake one here into the real, it's not going to go. It's like a totally different system. I'm not sure whether this is an earlier version of what Tommy were doing. The audience is going to tell me this is the only style of road I've got, which looks like that. Uh, but apart from this colour and the coupling system, the rest of this road looks identical. As I often see with the knockoff staff, once you have a closer look and feel of this staff, it's not finished off properly. It's got bits of plastic hanging off there. Some very sharp edges on it. Strangely enough, this does feel fairly robust and doesn't feel that different to the real piece. You give it a flex to me, they basically feel exactly the same. Very hard to tell a difference. And sure, even great big long pieces are done in the knockoff. That's the knockoff one there that I'm shaking. It's very hard to tell the difference between these two. I can twist them, they sort of feel the same. Maybe I need to scratch them up to tell the difference. Maybe if I scratch the real one versus the fake, that's the real there. Okay, this is the fake. Yeah, the fake's softer, I can feel it. You can see it marking up much, much easier. This is the real. In fact, some of the, the grey from the fake's gone across. So there, you can see the dark side at play there. Oh yeah. Even the storage sections have been copied. The one I'm shaking there is the real one. This one's the fake. They will key together. They're actually slightly different. One, well, one's a different height to the other, but they will work with each other. And there's a look at the keying area on these. Uh, that one there is the real one. Uh, I'm not that clued up in history of this stuff. Maybe this knockoff one here is a variation of a Tommy one, but I'm sure the audience will tell me. Yeah, who's into these pieces here? You know what these remind me of? Uh, now that we have the Chuggington stack track system, that's what this reminds me of. It reminds me of the way that Chuggington system works. Uh, okay, that was a fake one. That was the real. Let's take a look at the Henrietta's next. Well, on screen there is the real Henrietta, taking a look at the finer details that we've got on this. Okay, and I'll bring the faker up. There's the faker, it's actually slightly longer in length. Uh, looking at the roof here, I don't know if you can see that, but the roof painting is near see-through in some areas. There's no Tommy underneath, like you will find on the real McCoy one, if I bring the real one in there. That's what it looks like underneath. You start to see the difference in length there, can't you? Uh, but nevertheless, it's fairly close to the bone. They've basically come along and ripped off the coupling system and just basically the whole mojo of Henrietta. 
And just coming in for a closer look, you know, you can see through the paint there, bits of plastic haven't been cleaned off. Typical dark side. Well, here's a look at the car in this set. I haven't got anything to compare it with. It's got a rubber tire on the back. It's got solid wheels in the front. I've already put a battery in this. Okay, opening it up. I've already got the battery in here. Nothing much in here apart from a very simple design. Motors there, the very simple gear onto the back axle there. And it's got a very dodgy switch. One of those switches where sometimes it wants to work, sometimes it doesn't. There's no power in this thing. <sighs> what rubbish, eh? Rubbish. Well, I better show this very strange tender piece. I've got nothing to compare this with. Uh, it's got some very, very strange markings on this thing. I just... <laughs> It just makes you laugh. I don't know, I don't know whether to laugh or cry. Uh, Tommy Styling underneath. Uh, maybe someone can recognise that for me and tell me what that's been ripped off. Well, next is the Thomas and very strange face and eyebrows and a derped eye there. It makes you happy. He's got some lights here. I've actually got the battery in this one. Nice giant coal bunker on this boy. Uh, the this down here is just like the remote control Thomas that I'm going to show you soon. I've got one of those. But, um, yes, I've already got a battery in this. That's the inside. This thing here is a giant speaker. We know what sounds are going to come out of that, don't we, boys and girls? Lots of hot milk glue was used. It's one of those toys that had little spider webs of hot milk glue all over it when I pulled it out of the box. You can still see bits of it there. Okay, so um, in a funny way, the hot milk glue sort of says, well, they've, they've sort of been very tidy in making this, but then again, it's all cheap and nasty rubbish. The lid's a bit problematic to get that down properly. I haven't yet to been able to put it down properly on both sides. I don't know why. Well, I do know why, because it's dark side, but let's listen to the sound chip. Guess what's going to sound like? Ha <laughs> ha! Surprise, surprise! Yeah, some red flashing lights. It's actually got a fair bit of power, this one. Don't get your hand in this one, particularly our girls who play with trains. Because it will just suck it up and rip your, sc rip your scalp off. Yeah. You better turn it off because it's going to disturb you, isn't it? Yeah. And I have got the real Thomas. Uh, it was the three-speed RC Thomas. And there it is on the table. And it's actually a stunner. Oh, I've never run this, Thomas. I remember just buying it in store because I thought, well, I need one of those, don't I? A 2010 Mattel. It's actually got a metallic fleck in the plastic there. It's actually really nice. Once I had a bit of a closer look to this, it carries this along as well because it needs extra power. Uh, but I will give this a run on this place and I think just as a bit of fun. I don't think I've ever put batteries in this thing and it came with a really nice looking remote control and a great lever on top to give you your three speeds. And what I find curious, if I drive the real Thomas in there, and that's the Trackmaster classic style, and if I bring in the knockoff one, it's actually a fair bit bigger. Same sort of length, but I'll tell you what, that knockoff is a fair bit higher. And looking down on top, that knockoff is a fair bit fatter. But maybe the most painful and disturbing view is when you look at the differences from the front. It's scary stuff, isn't it? Well, I'm glad I kept the box here of the three-speed remote-controlled Trackmaster train because there's a bit of a picture here which reminds me of the old classic Trackmaster. Ooh, yeah, remember this picture on lots of the Trackmaster paraphernalia? Now we can say this was the classic Trackmaster era. And just on the picture of Thomas on the back of this remote-controlled Thomas box, it talks about this is a metallic finish. Well, I think the picture shows a metallic finish, Thomas. Well, to me, that's not metallic finish, it's metallic speckle. I'll show you what metallic finish looks like. It's that Thomas there. And when you see the two Thomases together, there's a vast difference between one that I classify as metallic and the other one. Oh, but let's not get too huffy and puffy. It's only a toy. I wish it came out looking like that. It didn't, of course. Let me build up this playset. Oh, I forgot there's a whole bunch of decals here. Sticker decals, that's what my son calls it. I've got to put them all over this on the signs. And I've got Thunderbird trees here. When Thunderbird comes along, the trees go <coughs> like that. Don't forget, I've got me animals. Yeah, let me put this together. Well, I think it was worth the time mucking around those little stickers. It's made a big difference to the look of this piece. Uh, some of these stickers are fairly comical. It looks like I think they ripped them off uh, the internet, uh, off those warning sign pages that you see. Uh, or maybe it's something else. Maybe you can tell me. Okay, it didn't take that long. In fact, the stickers took the most time I have built this place set up and it comes together okay. I'll use the word okay because 
What I found was the road pieces don't come together as nice as the real Tomy stuff. Uh, this section here is actually quite nice. I haven't got that in the real Tomy thing. This is happy every day in there. We are happy, aren't we? Yeah, Portal 1, Portal 2. I mean, you got to laugh, don't you? Uh, I've talked about the track already. I'll give Thomas a run, but maybe we'll start to see the dark side appear. Especially when he gets around to that tunnel. Come on, Thomas, through the tunnel you go. And it gets jagged up. Oh. And what I have to come and do is to basically get this tunnel and clip bits away from it because it's those bits there that are hampering Thomas when he comes around. We'll look at it one more time. As he comes around the mountain, as he comes. Come on, Thomas! Jag, jag, jag. And it's stuck again. Okay, I have to modify the tunnel. That's a troublesome area down here. I don't know whether it's just bend this out like so because it's all soft and dark side-ish or come in and actually snip away some of this or just maybe just the bends better oh well, I think the real trouble is that corner there I will just take a bit of that off there as well okay I need to get that tunnel piece back down it just yeah it wants to keep crawling in on the track I hope that's right now and here comes trusty dark side Thomas will he make it through without crashing Oh yeah, we fixed that problem. Well, there's our livestock. The other part of the equation in this place set is the car. And I think this is going to be the one that's going to cause confusion and delay. There's a switch on this is dodgy. Okay, there goes the car. Here comes Thomas. Yay! And we can press the button here and let the car go. Sometimes. Oh, and then it stops. I think the problem is the switch underneath keeps stopping. Um, and welcome to the dark side, isn't it? Dodgy switch, come on car, play for me, play, go. But there the car goes, now I sort of understand why it's got those wheels in the front to assist it in the corners. Whoa, just stops in time. Oh, off it goes, yay. Did it all by itself, maybe I don't know how this works. Oh, well watch this and see how it plays out. Could be an accident, something strange, whoa. Yay, it's working. Oh, I can't keep my eyes off this one. Go. Yeah, it's fun for the whole family watching this one, isn't it? Here comes Thomas and is the car going to stop? Oh, yeah. I'm not sure if you're going to notice this, but this car is so to tire. But it's uh, like all Dark Side stuff, it seems to be very poorly matched up with batteries. It's struggling to go up that hill there. And it's only been going for a very, very short amount of time. This is one of those play sets I call them the Guinness sets. You just sort of sit back and you watch. So, what's your thoughts on this Dark Side monster? Uh, it looks very impressive, but I can tell you when you have closer scrutiny of it, well, it starts to fall apart. I think the uh, most strange aspect to me is the way they've dressed Thomas up there. And maybe some of these clone parts. Most certainly this crossing area is a very elaborate piece for the dark side to knock off. And all in all, it's very much a reminder of how large train play sets used to be. Well, I want a bit of strange action in my life. I'll just put a Trackmaster 2 Thomas the Tank on the set. See how he goes. And I've got a sneaky suspicion he may cause all sorts of mischief. Oh! You can do better than that, Thomas, come on! If you first do not succeed, try, try again. Come on, Thomas, snap to it. Come on, Thomas, Trackmaster 2, you can spice this up for us, can't you? Okay, whoa, a bit of a smash down going down here. Uh-oh, looks like trouble. What happens when Thomas comes through? That is a knockoff, Thomas. What's going to happen? Watch out, here he comes! Whoa! Swammo, what a stack up! Well, you don't see that every day. Accidents can happen. Better come in and clean up this wreckage here. Come on, guys. Back to it. And it's funny because weird things like that can happen over and over and over, can't they? Whoa, it's a smack out. And the car with this um, traction tires has pushed the uh, Trackmaster 2 Thomas along. No, no, no. That's not fair. Let's have Thomas... Uh-oh. Oh, Oh, no! Oh! Oh, very nasty, very nasty indeed. 
Okay, let's sort out this mess. Let's sort out the mess. Come on, guys. Whoa, come on. I know you want to fight. Come on. Whoa, switched it around. Come from the other direction. Oh, what's going to happen next? Smack down. And once again, that little calf, the traction tires, has pushed Thomas. I'm not surprised. Oh, well, Thomas has got a bit of a comeback there with a helping hand from Big Daddy here. Watch out. Oh. Well, I've spun the car around to run the other direction. It is bi-directional, this place. It, ooh, just snuck through there. Go, little car, go. Oh, chat, accidents can happen any time. Oh, smack down. Thomas versus Thomas. Nasty knockoff Thomas giving Trackmaster 2 Thomas the T-bone. Trackmaster 2 Thomas isn't looking too happy or pretty about that. Ooh, better come in and break it up, break it up, boys. Oh, the car's coming for a bit of a play. No, you don't. Okay, back to law and order. Oh, it's fun. We can do it all over again, can't we, boys and girls? I'm sure we can. Oh, smack down, straight into the driver's cab. That must have hurt. Little knockoff car spinning up some rubber, giving Thomas a face plant. And I don't know what to say when I see a scene like that. Okay, break it up guys, break it up, break it up. Whoa, car's on its side, we'll get it moving again. Go to the car. Oh no, Thomas is on the track as well. Oh, he's being smacked down. What? That Faker is pushing the Trackmaster 2 Thomas completely backwards. That's totally unbelievable. Boys and girls, can you believe that? I can. But now you've seen it, there's no trickery going on here. Totally unbelievable. Right through the level crossing, I can't believe it. Go! Oh, he's been off the rails, he's been, oh, and the other one's slightly disabled. Oh, tragedy is struck. Okay, well, we've just seen uh, that this knockoff, Thomas, has actually got a fair bit of grunt. You want to see it again? I'm sure we can see that one again. I certainly want to see it again. Where are they going to collide this time? Oh, he's stuck there. We'll see a repeat of, oh, boof. Out of the way, Trackmaster 2, Thomas. I'm in control on this railway, didn't you know? And he goes, looking very, very nasty. Oh, no, he's off the rails. Better let the hand of God come in and sort stuff out. Come here, Trackmaster 2, Thomas. One more time, because I'm a glutton for punishment. Wacko! Where's he going to go this time? Who knows? It's like a total mystery. Where's Trackmaster 2, Thomas, going to get dumped? Oh, is it going to be there? Oh, they're both down. Very, very messy stuff. Let's see if we put the knockoff uh, running around the other way um, to show you that the, both parts of the set is bi-directional. Okay, car can run uh, both ways and so can Thomas. Here comes a nasty big faker coming up to level crossing. Yeah. Yes, you can watch this place up hours and hours and hours. Oh no, the car is stuck, the car is stuck. Whoa, Thomas is coming for a ram. Very nasty business, who's gonna win this one? Oh, Thomas is having to go. Oh yes again, very strange activity on this railway. Almost in time to that weird sound chip. Well, we can't have that sort of activity on this channel. Come on, boys and um, girls, off you go. There it goes, it's a very, very, um. Haphazard runner, it'd be the best way to describe that thing. It keeps wanting to, as ah, oh, just on cue, just stop. Okay, dodgy brothers, dodgy brothers. Come on, little car. You can do it. I'm sure you can. Well, I shouldn't say that I'm impressed with this, but what I will say is that it is a big reminder to the glory days of uh, the Thomas and Friends franchise via the fact that we're seeing some replica old Tommy stuff and the little car has died again. Um... Uh, the cheap car is disappointing, the cheap train is also disappointing, although it's weird. Um, but to see a component like this um, actually half impresses me. I'd like to see the real Tommy version of that in action. I'll go and grab my remote control Thomas and give it a spin on this playset.
Okay, here is my remote control three speed Thomas. I'm actually having lots of problems with this. That's the remote to it. Um, I'm not going to show you reverse because every time I go to reverse, uh, the thing goes crazy and just makes a very high pitched noise and nasty. It's got three speeds. Okay, there's speed one. It's got another speed. There's a lever there. Speed two. Is that it's slightly faster? And then there's speed three, which seems to be tearing along. But I think that was wrong. Let me just pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. Stop, Thomas. Stop. And I can't stop it now. What is wrong with this thing? No. Useless. Totally useless. Let me come in and capture this runaway Thomas again. Having all sorts of problems with this Thomas, with the Commander. Well, I've tried everything. I've swapped batteries over to brand new Duracell. I've said a brand name there. Duracell batteries, brand new copper type batteries. I'm on stop there. I cannot get this thing to spawn. Once again, it's just a total runaway. What a nightmare toy. Who else has got one of these remote control three speed Thomases? Have you had this sort of trouble with it? Or am I the only one? Okay, down on the table is a three speed remote control Thomas. I've got the controller in my hand. I'll be pointing it at Thomas. It is infrared controlled. I'm going to go first forward speed first. I'm actually standing it back a bit because I tried before and I was having lots of troubles when I was up close to it. There is speed one. Okay. Can we go to speed two? I've just selected speed two, but I can't see any difference in the Thomas. It's just still crawling around. Let me go to the third speed. No, no. The remote's making all sorts of sounds, but I can't get it to act on Thomas. Let me go back to speed one. Let me try up close to this thing. Then I'm gonna give it up. I've had enough of this. Speed two. No. Speed three. No. Nah. What is wrong with this thing? I, um, first time I've used it, it just doesn't do it for me. I'm doing a hum again. It's just stuck and doing a hum. Very high pitched hum from that thing. Horrible high pitched sound. Now, I'm going to totally give up trying to show this Thomas because from what I can see, this does not work. Uh, it's sort of interesting. I've actually got the first generation of this one, and it was chronically bad with the infrared control. Uh, I do not know why this is so haphazard. I've had it had run away on me. Uh, I will show you what was going on up the end of this video. Uh, maybe you can tell me more about these Thomases. Um, I've got the Spencer as well, in still in box. I'm actually curious to pull it out now. Um, but I mean, I'm a Thomas collector, so I'm pleased I've got this Thomas, though a little bit tricky to find, and I think it's a very nice looking one, but sadly, uh, mine doesn't work with the remote. Well, I've dragged this three-speed remote control Thomas over to the workbench. Let me turn it on, and let me see if I can get it to work over here and away from that track, because people might say, oh, it's a blue track causing trouble. Let's try it here. Okay, speed one. That's a slower speed. Hey, we've got speed two. And we've got the high pitch scream of speed three. And it seems to be the trouble starts to happen. Yep, it's stuck on speed three. I can't get it to do anything else. I'm back on stop. It's a runaway again, over on the workbench. I don't know what you meant to do to get this to work. It's a total Thomas mystery. Absolutely no control from that remote. Not a thing. I'm turning you off, you've caused too much confusion and delay. There is the packaging that, that Thomas came from. Bought it a while back now. How much was it? $50. So I'm back over, obviously, on the knockoff Thomas. What's your thoughts about this playset? Don't say anything nice because remember, these are actually illegal. Uh, they're not licensed and basically they're rip off toys. Uh, this one works fairly well, but I can guarantee to you that not all of them are like this. Uh, so often they are really, really shoddy looking toys and don't play for very long. Coming for one last final level crossing and it might be a nice time to say thanks for watching and 
Bye for now. Thomas on their hands, it's not responding to the controller. Come on guys, get with it. He's a runaway, he's a runaway. Stop, stop, stop. This will be on the fail reel for sure. Now I've got another problem here, the high pitch from it. I... Not responding, this thing is really playing up. I'm getting the remote nice and close to it because it is uh, infrared control. Oh, what is wrong with this thing? Maybe this is a bit of a fail toy. If you first to knock succeed, try, try again. <laughs> 